Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at uh, question number one from 2021 AP Calculus AB exam. So the question is this, the density of bacteria population in a circular petri dish at a distance r centimeters from the center in the dish is given by an increasing differentiable function f, where f of r is measured in milligrams per square centimeter. Values of f of r for selected values are given in the table above, and the table is shown. So the first question is, use the data in the table to estimate f prime of 2.25 and then interpret that in the context of the problem and use the units so let's go ahead and do this question so part a so we approximate that by using two close points so it's going to be f of 2.5 minus f of 2 divided by 2.5 minus 2 and this is going to give us, once we simplify everything, it's going to be 8. Uh, we're going to have milligrams per square centimeter per centimeter. Okay. I should write it here. So what is the meaning of this value? It's the uh, how fast the density changing. at r equals 2.25 centimeters from the center. Okay, that takes care of that. We got the units, we got everything that we need and we interpreted that. The second question is the total mass in milligrams of bacteria is given by integral expression that is shown. Approximate the value using the right Riemann sum with four subintervals indicated by the table. So we do the right Riemann sum, but here's one tricky thing about this. If you look at this expression, you have R times F of R. So it's not as traditional Riemann sum problems that you might have seen, it's this specific one. So we, we need to consider that. That means we're gonna multiply the value of, like for example here, we're gonna multiply the value of R by F of R, and also multiply it by the width of the interval. So for the first expression, it's going to be 1 times 2 times 1 here. For the second expression, it's going to be 2 times 6 times 1. For the next one, it's going to be these two times 0.5. And for the last one, it's going to be these two times uh, 1.5. Okay, so we are going to set this up. And we are going to write the following. So it's going to be 2 pi, of course, times, so 1 times 2 times 1, plus 2 times 6 times 1, plus 2.5 times 10 times 0 0.5, plus 4 times 18 times 1.5. And when this is all calculated, it's going to give us 845. 0 0.088. Remember, College Board wants you to approximate the three decimal places unless instructions are going to tell you otherwise. Okay, so that's going to be this. So we're going to take a look at the next question. So the next question is a pretty traditional question for AP uh, questions. It is asking you if this um, if this expression here is uh, an over approximation or an under approximation of the actual mass. So what do we have here? Let's read this very carefully. We have an increasing function. So if it's an increasing function and we're using the right Riemann sum, that means this is going to be an over approximation. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. I do need to scroll to the next page here. So all we need to do here is write the explanation. So C, since F, since R times F of R. So R is increasing, F of R is increasing, that means the product is increasing, is an increasing function. And 
we evaluated the right Riemann sum this is an over an over an overestimate okay and that takes care of this so we have one last thing to do so the density of bacteria is modeled by this function that's given to us and we want to see for what value k g of k is going to equal to the average value of g of r on the interval so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the average value of this function on the interval so the formula there is going to be it's going to be 1 over 4 minus 1 times the integral from 1 to 4 of g of r dr um, and we want it to equal to some g of k and we want to find that k right so this integral this whole expression here if you substitute that in the calculator is approximately 9.875.79 and what we're going to do is um, when you when this is done this is going to give you some kind of a graph and uh, the graph is going to look kind of like that and you're going to look for an intersection between the horizontal line which is going to equal to the uh, to the function itself so this is going to be that number here and this here is going to be g and this point here is going to correspond you can do it with them um, you're going to have to do this with the calculator this values here is going to be k equals 2.497 and that concludes this problem